11 across, changing of focus or direction, 13 letters, reorientation. Hey there, Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? I've been meaning to do this video for a long, long time. They're thinking, is it worth it? And I think, yes, it is. I, I like doing the crossword. And over the years, I found out this kind of a way of uh, kind of writing neatly and and really efficiently on a crossword you generally want the letters to be kind of really simple kind of block letters um, and I found a really quick simple efficient way of doing it it's kind of the way you do the strokes so I'm going to show you what on earth I'm talking about now okay let's get over the pen first this is a sailor food pen what does that mean it means that the the tip of the nib is bent in a rather strange way. You do not need this pen to draw with, okay? You can do this with a biro or anything you like. So it's about the way the strokes go. Uh, so for the A, capital A, I'm gonna go up and down and across. Going up and down is the most efficient way of doing it. You could also go around like that. That's pretty efficient too. B. You want to stop, start at the bottom and around and around. <laughs> and C is just kind of going around that way. D, again, start at the bottom, up and around. So it's just one smooth movement with a kind of little stop at the top. E, there's a very efficient way of doing that, is to go curve with a line through it. If you don't like that, then you want to start at the top, down and across there. So it's all very smooth smooth movement which is what we are after same again for the f we can come down like that g we can come around and up and flick h well there's not a lot you can do here so you can kind of do the two like that and then join across or you can go up and across and up and down the trouble here is you might sort of get extra kind of little lines and things there so this is much more definite the way you're going to get your lines i that's pretty easy and j is pretty easy k so you can i think the most efficient way is then to go and do a line with an arrow pointing at it and l of course it's just like that m that's pretty easy up down up down n up down up and oh, that's pretty obvious. P, start at the bottom, up and round. It's just one smooth movement. And I think quite often, you know, you want to do these in two different things. And to be really, really smooth and flowing, if you get to practice <laughs> doing these things so that you always start at the bottom and go around, it's one smooth, smooth movement. Hey, if you like writing and drawing and stuff like that, click that subscribe button down there in the bottom right hand corner. And when you do, click the bell and you will receive notifications of all my new videos in your mailbox. Do it now. Q. Now this is kind of weird because normally I will do an O from the top. You can see here I've gone around that. So you have to train yourself. And it's all about practice. Start at the bottom and then a little flick there. So you don't have to start at the top, go all the way up, and then come down to do that. It's all one flowing moment. Movement. R, again, start at the bottom, up, around, and down. S, that's pretty obvious. T, I think, I thought about this a lot, I think that is the most efficient, uh, because you're getting a straight line, and then you're getting into that line, and down. Whereas if you start at the bottom and go up, you might not quite meet it and all sorts of things going on there. Uh, U is down and up and V is down and up and W is down and up and down and up and W. X, that's pretty obvious. Now Y, I think you want a one line going down that and then we need kind of like an arrow. So that's one and one smooth line coming down and Z is going to fit like that. Wow, that is pretty well fit in there, isn't it? Uh, what about lowercase? Now, normally on my crossword things, I'm usually doing uppercase, but you can uh, kind of speed up the lowercase as well. Um, I do, so, so this is kind of non joined up writing. When you want to make things clear, <laughs> like if you're a doctor and you're writing a prescription, you want people to actually read what you've written. <laughs> so um, I do A's like this up down and around now that's kind of like you would get in a printer's sort of font so you could i suppose do a circle 
with a line down as well for, for that kind of an A. B again is down and around. C and D is going to be down and around. E go across and then around. F around, down and across. E, F, G. Now there are various kind of ways you could do this so I think the most efficient way is to go down, around, up and around like that. Then that is one full smooth movement. But you can see here that it's gone above the line. So it's probably easier to actually draw that circle and then come down and around hanging underneath it. H, you want to come down and around. And I and J and K. I think we want to come down and then a loop and then a tail. I really do think that's the most efficient way of doing a K. L, I'm not going to put a tail on it. L, M, the most efficient way is to go like that. And the same again with an N, just around like that. M, N, O, and P will be up and around. And same with Q, up and around, P, Q, R. S and T and U, no little tails, just a straight curve around like that. R S T U V and I'm going to come down here to fit this in W and X. So what have we got here? The G has got a curving descender, as so has got the J. So we're really going to want to sort of follow that pattern and have a curving descender on the Y. So I think to get it to fit on the line, you want to do a U and then a curving descender like that. Y, X, X, Y and Z. And if you want to be really, really uh, fancy, although it's not going to fit into a crossword square, you can do kind of that old fashioned kind of Z as well. And there you go. It's all about, uh, you know, the, the flow of the strokes. But you might find that the way your handwriting is now, your hand will just not want to do it. So you have to really practice and really think about what it is you do. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, so maybe just do a lot of crossword puzzles. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you come back to the Shoe Render Drawing channel and click down here and subscribe. And when you do, you'll see a little bell ring that and you will be notified uh, in your inbox of uh, when I make new videos and make new drawing videos all the time. So in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.